While exploring caves, it's possible to have more than three types of Pikmin in your squad. Huh. That's good to know. Oh, this is a lot of water. They He was not kidding. And it almost looks like a golfing green. You know, I, I've i turned up my nose at the swimming upgrade for, for Ochi, but maybe it was a good idea. Okay. There are Pikmin inside the jelly floats. And there are Pikmin here. We'll deal with those first. And these are not spotted jelly floats. These are new. They kind of make the same noise. A little bit. It's, it's subtle, but it's there. Uh, let's go with Ice Pikmin on this. Freezing them seems very good. Oh, that's super good. Okay, I didn't even think of the physics behind that, but now that now that I have, frozen, broken. You know, that seems incredibly good for for blowhogs, like puffy blowhogs or withering blowhogs. That seems awesome. We're definitely going to make use of that. Uh, and I'm kind of wondering, ooh, how do I get that? Can I throw, well, first off, you guys deal with that. Can I reach that from here? I can. Okay. We're we're well on our way to beating this. There's this is a lot of empty space though. I'll go find it. It's a lot of empty space just sitting here. And there's no treasure out there. That's very odd. Whenever I see stuff like that, I always think, okay, they're introducing a concept. They're introducing a mechanic here. Like that. There's some way. Like, th this isn't here for no reason. Did, did that drain it? No. Okay. It just pulled up a pacifier. And, of course, now there are fiery blowhogs. Good. Ochi, go ahead and big chomp him. Good job, buddy. And we're going to wait for you to... Yep, yep, blow your fire. Freeze him. Kill him. Like clockwork. Yeah. Okay. It's very odd. I, I, I'm going to go out there for sure. I'm not going to just see this and be like, oh, that's... That's weird. Come on. Lock on. Oh. Um. Idler's whistle. Look at that. Look at that. I'm a fan of that. That's amazing. Look at that. <laughs> Ice cream. Also, worth noting, what is the f how am I- Oh my word. Finally! A hundred! Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> okay, Ochi. Let's swim out there. What is- What's going on out here? It seems- this all seems too interesting to be meaningless. And yet, meaningless it is. I can dash in the water? That's... Okay. That's good to know. That will be relevant at some point. Okay, now that we've done this, we can open this valve. We did already open the valve. That's not needed anymore. Ochi, you're here. I don't really need you. You're fine. Deal with the jelly float. Break that open. Freeze this, which has Floralic in it, which I was just going to complain at the start of the episode. I'm like, I'm really feeling the 60 Pikmin cap. It's starting to feel like ultra spicy mode in here. Uh, that's going to get me over to that. I don't really need to be over there. We got that. Dismiss the Pikmin. And we're going to go over and grab these. And then I should just be able to fly back. And while we do, we're going to switch over to Ochi. He can't really do much, but I am going to pilot him back here. I should have done that differently, but he's he's fast now. He'll 
We won't really miss a beat here. We're back up. We will need him to jump up. But it's it's no biggie. There he goes. And we're good. That's it. A lot of confusing empty space. For some reason kind of gave me a um a sword trials vibe from Breath of the Wild. I don't know why. And importantly, has crossed us over the 10,000 gap. That's weird. This is the same floor. I mean, the pot's the same. Very odd. That's an ice gate. We have some fiery dweevils over there. A greater jelly float has a captain inside, which is a great way, by the way. That's a great way of introducing the ha the fact that... Well, that seems kind of... Yeah, we can go over there. There's a button. That, that makes sense. A great way of introducing that the, the bigger jelly floats can get captains. Just good game design there. Just subtle. Gonna use the charge. Freeze him. Kill him. Very interesting that I can't use I can't use charge on Ochi, which I I actually didn't expect him to have all these different like little intricacies and downsides. Can I climb that? No. Okay, that's what I thought. But we only need one Pikmin to go on it. And and it's what really has warmed me to Ochi, because I really wouldn't have been otherwise if he was just like God, which is kind of how he was hyped up to be, which is fine. They're not gonna- they're not going to talk about downsides on the tin. Um, I really like how both the Captain and Ochi have different abilities. It- it feels... It feels like something that always should have been the case. And I, I always love it when games do that. They're like, yeah, you have multiple characters. They do different things. They're not just the same. Especially when multiplayer games do it. I don't know why. And maybe this is a Nintendo thing. Nintendo has had something- such an obsession when it comes to multi- Excuse me, multiplayer games, and not having characters with different abilities. Uh, uh, Super Mario World, their 3D World, sorry, um, has lets you, or each of the characters is different. And I love that. Some of the characters are bad, some are good, some are beginner friendly, which is awesome. It it just it lets you lean on each other in a way that other game that you wouldn't normally be able to. It's, it's cool. Break that. Uh, send Ochi after that. That's probably what I should be doing. There's a big risk trap over there, and we don't have Rock Pikmin to deal with that. <laughs> that area literally exists as a safety valve only. I guess if we went the opposite direction and looped it poorly, uh, we can get across by jumping over there with Ochi. So that's, that's worth noting. Okay, jump up here. That did not work. Jump back up. Okay. And... Go. Okay, you break this because you're too heavy. And this area really didn't exist for... I guess it existed as a way to get back, but there's no reason to go over here. That's weird. Ooh. A coin. That's not a coin. That's a button. <laughs> go. We're fine. And die. Chomp, 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 chomp. <laughs> that was that was amusing. We're gonna clear the enemies here first, just because I think my Pikmin are going to take this as their path. Get behind him. Maybe go. Whoa! Get him for the eye. Okay, okay, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're fine. Lost a Pikmin, but we've gained more ice in here than we've lost, and ultimately that's a big win. Okay, uh, use the idler's whistle. I keep doing that up on the D-pad. Can wait for them to come back, and then we're gonna go tackle the rest of the cave here. And it looks like we're, because of how I looped this, that looks like marijuana over there, I should just be able to kill this and then get the captain and then immediately go down a floor. This seems to be the optimal way to have done this. Look at that big chomp. Look at that big chomp. 
He's locked on now. He's a pit bull. Locked with something? It almost. Where did that egg go? <laughs> it just went to the stars. Okay. Mini boss time. Run. Good job. Good job. Good job. I need to get it down to the ground. In fact, will this work? It does. Kind of? Come on. Go for the pick pick carrot. Actually, you know what? Make this start happening. There you go. There you go. There you go. Suck it up. And then I will freeze you. And you'll die. Goodbye. I've been waiting to use the Pikmin carrots. I just haven't had a good opportunity. I mean, I probably have. But... Oh. Boom. Also, why did the ice Pikmin go that way? They could have just taken that. The goofy goobers. Absolute goons. And they're still going that way. That was... Okay. Alright. Whatever. Okay, Ochi, you're a Pikmin now. Please drink. Or not. Well, hey. Okay, I'll check it. Sheba. Didn't we... Yeah, this is one of the students, isn't it? Founder of a Aleon Academy's Planetary Science Club. This student was determined to see the stars along with her friends. So far. Judging from the name of the school and club, this has to be one of the students that came with the teacher we rescued. Imagine being stranded like this at such a young age. Poor thing must have been downright terrified. Or perhaps this will galvanize her into a life of adventure as she seeks to re-escape her trauma again and again. Also, I mi <laughs> I, you missed a treasure. You are absolutely terrible at this. Where is it? Wait, where? Where is it? Ochi. Find, find me the treasure. And then I'll dismiss my ice. Where is it? I'm falling. I'm, I'm going. Am I blind? Oh! It's way out here. More of these things. Is that it? That's, that looks like it. Throw some more Pikmin on it. Just make it go a tiny bit faster. Okay. That's probably it. I can't imagine there are more treasures as I paranoidly, paranoidly look for more. There you go. Okay. Down to the next floor. Da 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 Do, do, do. This is the floor that was on the in the uh, thumbnail. And you're probably very confused because the thumbnail isn't actually this, this floor. I mean the thumbnails of the dungeon. What is this? What is this guy? He is a puffer fish, so I mean, we're pretty sure what his attacks are. He has spines on the front. He seems... Non-hostile, and there are a bunch of them, too. Oh, I love that. I don't know why... Well, I know why the sound is comforting, but there's something about the sound of being underwater. And it... It's amazing to me that as... As humans, we hearken back to that time spent in the womb. Because that's really the only explanation for it. I think scientifically that is why. But I love that sound. It's so calming. There's something about water that's just comforting. To a primal degree. Look at him swim, too. I kind of wish they would carry it. Okay, we'll deal with that real quick. Also, that's kind of mean. They had no reason to go that way, and they did. Whatever. Um, guys? Guys, can you... 
Can, can I, like, target you? Okay, you pop. Come on. What's back here? We're just gonna go on a little... A little trek. Is there anything back here? Listen to the sound. I don't know. I just love that. Maybe it also is nostalgic. Ooh, that's pretty. It might also be nostalgic for when I used to take baths as a kid, and I don't take baths anymore. That might also have something to do with it. There's just something refreshing about water. About being near water. It's just enchanting to the weird human brain. Hello. Oh, you're not... You will attack. At least we got to see it. And he's going... He's going to die for it. Uh-oh. Okay. They all latched onto his front and I was so worried. Okay. What are these? What are these? Oh! There are blue Pikmin here. I really gotta use this grass at some point. They, they introduce this mechanic in Pikmin 3, and they show it, and they introduce it next to the Whip Tongue Bulborb, and you're expected to use it then, but there just really isn't a time in Pikmin to be stealthy. Maybe there will be a boss at some point that'll utilize that. That would be, that would be sick. That's probably the correct way to, or the, the cool way to do it, because all too often, it's just like, it did, you don't need the stealth. But maybe there will be some enemies that you can't sneak around from behind you, so you gotta use stealth around them. Please deal with that. What is... There's something here. A bunch of little treasures, like the little... They're the little swords. I don't even know where they came from. Were they inside of a creature? Did they kill it on their own? I don't know. With that, one, two, three, four, five... Five trips is fine. I haven't even really explored the above the above water portion. Oh, can I talk about that real quick? You want to hear something weird about the English language I noticed? So, underwater is one word, right? And underground is one word. But above ground and above water is two words. Isn't that just kind of funky? But it's consistent. It's it's like inconsistently consistent. I'm, at the, I'm actually at the edge. That's neat. Like, b both the above words are two words, but the under the under words are one word. But they're inconsistent, because you'd think, because they're referring to the same thing, <coughs> just different, like, proximities to the same thing, that they'd be two words. It's just really weird. I have actually... I guess this is a time saver. We'll, we'll go ahead and... We'll chop that down. In fact, we're, we're gonna send everybody on it. It's just gonna save a little bit of time. Little bit of time. And those Pikmin will omnipotently know that this area is clear. We're not gonna question it because it's convenient to us. We don't question things that are convenient. We just embrace them and move on. We're, we're no different than animals in that respect. We don't question why weird things are the way they are. But we, we just take it and cool. This is nice. This improves my life. Moving on. This water's kind of grungy. Uh, ah! <laughs> this is not where I want to be. Kill. That's the wrong way. That worked. That worked. That worked. Kill it, please. Ah, uh, this is a little bit sloppy, a little bit dirty. Um, since I don't, the bomb rocks would probably be extinguished. Is there an item that I could use here? Ah, yeah, how about this one? You know, the first item. And, ooh. I guess the first item is probably still bomb rocks. But, the metaphor wasn't lost. What's in here? Anything? Nothing? Nothing in the fake grass, which I love that they've made that touch. It's a great touch. Um, one, two, three. Yeah, you can go three traps. That's fine. Is there any treasure in here that I'm missing? It does not appear... It does not appear to be such. Okay, where are we going? Blech. Okay. Hello. I don't like that. Uh, Ochi, can you do me a favor? Just you come along or not. Come on, buddy. Oh, my word. 
Ochi? Just? I never expect to be on a stealth mission from my own Pikmin, but here I am. Okay. 20 is enough. And then I'll deal with this. Big chomp! Big chomp! There we go. <laughs> okay. And then I'll grab my ice Pikmin. Get across he this little body of water. And then go deal with that. And the switch, which I probably could have dealt with first. Uh, dismount. Sorry, buddy. Uh, but could you do me a favor? And just go to... Go to base. Which I guess going to base isn't really that useful anymore. Because I can just press up on the D-pad and call my Pikmin to me. That's weird. And Scribloosh. Go, go get the Pikmin carrot. Go get it. Go get it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, and now you'll die for it. The joke's on you for eating healthy foods. You shouldn't do it. They'll kill you. Why is, oh. I got to get my Pikmin carrot back. That's not expected. Uh, sure. Sure. And you could just die, because I'm not really that scared of you. There you go. Very good. Perfect. Okay, we're, we're making some good progress here. Uh, the button's pressed, so I can actually... I keep doing that. Up on the D-pad. Am I getting old? Am I just getting, like, slow and sluggish? Because it's kind of feeling like that. I don't really want to spend my resources on that, to be honest. That's 27? No, not... Oh, but I can't bring that across. Ugh. That's... I guess once I have my blues, I can. Yeah, okay, so we're... We'll be fine, we'll be fine. Can you... Are you guys smart enough, though, to do that? Come on, please be, please be... Yes, you are! Good job, good job, good job. Good job, Pikmin. Build this. And not build the bridge. Don't need to. I don't need to expend those resources. I'm very content with my 143. Okay. I think uh, I think we're well on our way to, to beating this. We just gotta wait for all this stuff to get back. Uh, those ice Pikmin don't know what they're doing. They're not, they're not in on the plan. And there we go, we're good. We're, now we're just gonna enjoy the scenery, which actually kind of looks like we're in an Animal Crossing aquarium. <laughs> I know it's just an aquarium, but I don't know. There's something about it that, if I'm going to suspend my disbelief that all the signs of nuclear war are not true, they were just a big prank. Just miss us misinterpreting misinter things. It, it's also kind of funny to believe that we're just in Animal Crossing and that's what Earth is now. All the people are animals. They're gone. Like, humanity died, but now they're just replaced with animals. And that's not... Okay, there we go. I was gonna say, man, I'm gonna go on another wild goose chase for one little, like, octopus figurine. Nope. We're good. Next floor.